Hello, welcome to Emma's ESL English. Today we are continuing our theme, but we're getting a little bit darker this week. So first we're going to talk about lying. Obviously not a good trait. <laughs> Generally, it's not good to lie. And I think in most cultures, we can say that it's not good to lie. Um, in English, in England, it's a little weird because on the one hand, as a child, you are taught very clearly that lying is bad. Lying is very bad. You must never lie about anything. On the other hand, grown-ups are quite regularly asking you to lie about things, whether by telling you to keep a secret or um, to not tell the whole truth about something. It's pretty common for grown-ups to ask kids to lie, maybe without necessarily totally realizing that that's what they're doing. So it's quite conflicting as a child to know, wait, are we lying? Or are we not lying? What's the right thing to do? And then as an adult, a lot of British politeness is actually lying. In English, we call it a little white lie, which means a lie that we're telling that's not very serious. It's not going to have very bad impact, but we're doing it for someone's benefit, we think. The problem with a little white lie is who decides whose benefit it is. Mm, it can end badly. So if we, in English, for example, if we're being polite, rather than say, no, I'm not going because actually I don't like you, we would say, oh, I'm really sorry. I can't make it. I'm super busy this weekend. That's what I mean. So it's a little white lie. We know it's not very nice to tell someone I don't like you. I'm not going. So instead, we tell them they're really busy. But if you totally buy into the never lie, then this gets very difficult. British society, yay. Okay, challenging somewhat. So lying, let's see. We have, a little while I already told you, a lie, lying through your teeth. She's lying through her teeth. Why is it always women? I don't know what's wrong with me this week. I'm blaming the women for everything. I apologize, ladies. Okay, he's lying through his teeth. If we know that somebody is lying, then we might tell our friend, don't trust him. He's lying through his teeth. And, and that means that this is a really serious lie. He's very definitely lying. We cannot trust this person. So if you're lying through your teeth, which of course you are because your teeth are here and you're saying something, so it's coming through your teeth. But if you're lying through your teeth, then we're really emphasizing that this is a lie and it's bad and you're a bad person. To pull the wool over your eyes, wool, this kind of wool, to pull the wool over your eyes. If you think about it, right? If you put something over your eyes, then you can't see anymore. So if somebody pulls the wool over your eyes, then it means they prevent you from seeing clearly. So we often use this in relation to lies and especially people that we might describe as crooks. So people who are trying to convince you, um, trying to convince you of something. Maybe they're trying to get you to buy something then we could but like it's not a good thing that you're buying but they're really really good at telling you the story and you're you're kind of buying into it you kind of think it's a good idea then somebody could say oh, they're pulling the wool over your eyes don't listen to them they're pulling the wool over your eyes meaning they are lying to you very convincingly and you are buying into it and that's really stupid stop it <laughs> Okay, and very similar to this is to take someone for a ride. Don't listen to him. He's going to take you for a ride. That sounds like he's just going to, you know, get you in his convertible and take you for a little drive around. And it's going to be lovely. But no, <laughs> what it actually means is like, imagine you get in a taxi, right? You get in a taxi at the airport. This is a common one in America. You get in a taxi. Sorry, Americans. You get in a taxi at the airport. Um, let's say you're at JFK airport. You're going to New York. 
you want to go to downtown New York, you tell the taxi driver. And what you don't realize is he's going to drive you through the Bronx and Queens and over a fancy bridge. And it's going to be the longest way ever to get to downtown Manhattan. You don't realize that because you're just sitting in a car and it's the first time you've ever been to the city. So he's taking you for a ride. Yes, literally in his car, but also he's been lying to you this whole time because it was a way faster, cheaper way to get there. So he's taking your money. So to take someone for a ride means that you're knowingly lying to them about something. And similar to pulling the wool over your eyes, it's very common that they're trying to get money out of you. Whatever lies they're telling are the end goal is to get money out of you. All right, do I have any more? We had the little white lie and we had, yes, yesterday, not yesterday, sorry, last week we were talking about holding and biting your tongue, which is quite often about someone getting angry because you're telling secrets. And very often I think part of that is they want you to be telling lies. They want that to not be true, right? If somebody is telling us a horrible secret that we don't want to know, we want them to be lying to us. We wish they were lying to us because that would be much easier to accept. And so in our anger, we might tell them to bite their tongue or hold their tongue so that they don't tell us that truth. So that definitely can fit here too. All right. Let's leave it there for today. And tomorrow we will be talking about untrustworthiness. So idioms that describe being untrustworthy. You can email me or you can head over to the website at www.emmaseslenglish.com and all of these will be written down. Okay, bye.